I've seen a lot of the comments on this Amara Lou Lex, or, uh, the, the woman who gave her kids, took her t kids to the fire station and gave them to Not a reach out. No response, no nothing, and I'm tired, I'm over it. I love the fuck out of them, but like I said, if anybody wants to take custody of them or whatever, we are up here at Children's Services. The CPS, and um, here's one thing that I have not seen uh, discussed regarding this um, situation, and that is feminism. The problem that a lot of women are facing when it comes to raising children is that we have been told that we can do it by ourselves. We've been sold this idea that the hardest job on the planet can be done by yourself. We don't require marriage. We're not requiring commitment. And so when we get in these situations where life gets tough, where men are literally built by God to deal with these types of situations um, of, of, you know, going through hard times. Men are literally built for that kind of stuff. Women aren't. We're not built for, you know, going through rough, rough times um, alone. We are, we are not. We are made for men. And so... Um, when we find ourselves in these situations, yes, it is extremely difficult and it is extremely hard to deal with by yourself. I am a single parent, yet thank God, getting married, um, divorced, but thank God for my fiance because it is tough. And one thing that will help women is understanding and appreciating men learning what men actually want and need and providing those things to them because it is really tough. And this is something that is hard to get women, particularly black women, to understand because we have been fed a lie that you can do it all by yourself. Why would you want to? We're not even meant to do that. In all of these videos that I'm seeing, they're like, where is her support? Where's her resources? Where's this and that? It was supposed to be in her husband and I'm not judging that woman because she is a she is a victim of ideas that have been passed down just like many of us were until you come out of it. I it is only by the grace of God that I have come out of fe feminism ideas. But those ideas are destructive. Those ideas um have you raising children by yourself, have you with multiple baby fathers uh, in, in many cases, have you struggling by yourself, which that doesn't seem to be the issue. Everybody seems to understand that you can't do it by yourself, but they're just not saying that you need a husband. This, if a family was meant to be a man and a woman, a, a father and a, a mother. So these, um, ideas of raising kids by yourself is bogus. And that you don't need men. We absolutely do. That's why women's health, mental health, physical health is failing. Because we are take we have taken on a lot of stuff that we were never meant to carry. Sorry. It doesn't mean that you're less than. It doesn't mean that um, you know, you you don't matter. It doesn't mean any of that. It just means that that's not your role. And it's that's that is fine because you're going to function better when you're functioning in your role life will be easier for you to manage functioning in your role as a wife having a husband not having children out of wedlock raising a family together requiring that if a man wants to be with you have children with you have sex with you he has to marry you period because who wants to do this by yourself it is hard don't do this by yourself. One of the things that we have to try to be, what, what we have to be, is a woman that men want to marry in the first place. You, you have to be a wife. Wives uh, exhibit certain types of behaviors and they don't do other types of things. 
you know, husbands do not want a woman. They're not going to choose for them a woman who is doing certain things uh, that are unbecoming of a wife. He's not going to choose that. So in order, if you want to be a wife, you can't just say, okay, well, I'm going to continue living, you know, a certain lifestyle in a certain way and expect to be, um, for a man to accept those things and choose you as a wife, someone who, uh, he can present to the world, like as the Bible says, without spot or stain. So if you're spotting and staining on yourself, <laughs> then he, you know, get, it's not, he's not going to accept that. So be a woman, be a wife, exhibit wifely behaviors, have a life that is attractive to a man that wants a family because uh, my fiance, he just, he's not, he would not have been attracted to, he's just not attracted to certain types of things. You know, because he's a good, upstanding man. He's he he has character and he has requirements. The things that women want in a man, a man who is responsible, accountable, who is gonna take care of his family. He has con you know, there are conditions to have access to a man like that. He does not want certain things. He was not looking for um he finds certain types of behavior in women completely unattractive. And so you, in order to find, to be found by a man who, um, who's going to be the type of uh, father and husband that you would want for him to be, you have to be able to attract that kind of guy. And so if you're not able to attract that kind of guy, then you got to figure out what, what the problem is. You have to become a wife. That's what you have to do.